Can you swim? Good. Because you're going on a journey to the deepest point of the Pacific Ocean. Now put on your flippers. The very bottom of the Mariana Trench is awaiting. Now get in the water. Really? Come on! All right. One foot underwater. That's the depth you can swim with no special gear like a mask. Hey, look! Must be some tourists. Or whales. 10 feet underwater. That's a little deeper than the public pools and beaches around the United States. You can see colorful fish and even photoplankton that feed on the sun's rays. 26 feet down. This is the depth at which the foundations of the floating city of Venice in Italy stand. Builders laid columns at that depth on which they later built houses and streets. 30 feet underwater. You start to feel a lot of pressure. When you're on the surface, you're under atmospheric pressure, 15 pounds per square inch. But here, at 30 feet, that pressure is doubled. All the air pockets in your body, like your lungs or ears, begin to compress from this pressure, giving you discomfort. But no worries, your organs are soft and elastic, so you can keep diving. 40 feet underwater. Oops, you're running out of air. An average person can hold their breath for 30 to 90 seconds. The current record is an incredible 24 minutes and 37 seconds. Gasp. Okay, you'll need some diving equipment to continue your descent. There you go. Thank you very much. (laughs) Tourists dive to this depth to look at reefs and corals. You don't need special skills for that, but you can't dive any deeper without training or a license. 45 feet down. Be careful. There are sharks swimming here looking for food, like you. (laughs) Sometimes tourists descend to this depth in a safe cage to see the sharks up close. You're better off staying away from these predators and not attracting their attention. So make sure you're not wearing any bright and shiny jewelry. Sharks love that kind of thing. 62 feet underwater. You could see the Aquarius Reef Base Lab in Florida at this depth, if you were in Florida. It's really an entire building with rooms for exploring the seafloor, accessible through a hatch. 105 feet down, you see a strange bell hanging from a chain. People used to use these things for deep diving about 400 years ago. They'd lower a bell on chains with divers inside from a ship. There was enough air inside the bell for them to breathe. That way, they could explore sunken ships with treasures. 140 feet. At this depth, you could find an entire sunken city in Qianda Lake, China. You can still see streets, houses, and temples there. 330 feet. Whoa! You almost hit a huge blue whale! How could you miss it? These guys, the size of two train cars, usually dive to that depth. Shh! Let's listen to them sing for a while. It's beautiful! Now, let's keep going. 660 feet. This is where most of the ocean life ends. Sun rays hardly penetrate any deeper into the water. Everything below are unusual fish like this angler. They have such an unusual appearance because they have to adapt to the high pressure here. 702 feet underwater. This is the last mark where you'd see a human without diving equipment. This man holds the title of the deepest man on Earth, and he's the only one who has managed to get to this depth. The water pressure on his body here was 20 times greater than that on the surface. 985 feet. Ooh, what was that sound? Whoa, that's a submarine. That's the maximum depth they can dive to. Some of them can reach speeds of 26 miles per hour. Fun fact, an ostrich can run twice as fast, but she can't swim. 1,090 feet. Say bye to this scuba diver. You won't see them any deeper than this. The world record was set in the Red Sea. It only took the diver 12 minutes to reach this depth. But it took him a whole 15 hours to return to the surface to avoid decompression sickness. So now you get an atmospheric deep diving suit. It's completely sealed, and you won't feel the insane water pressure on your body in it. 1,454 feet. If you stuck the Empire State Building in the water, its tip would be here. And all the carpet inside of it would be wet. 2,300 feet down. The water pressure here is 70 times greater than on the surface. The flexible plastic parts of your suit can't withstand that kind of pressure. So here's some urgent delivery. It's an ultra-deep submersible. Now you can continue your dive all the way down. 2,717 feet. 
Here, you'd see the tip of the tallest building on Earth, the Burj Khalifa. All right, who's sinking all the tall buildings around here? 5,387 feet. This is the depth of one of the oldest and deepest lakes in the world, Lake Baikal. Its area is slightly larger than the entire country of Belgium. 8,040 feet. That's the record depth the Perdido oil platform reaches in the Gulf of Mexico. And its above-water part with three decks is almost as high as the Eiffel Tower. 11,962 feet. This is the average depth of the Atlantic Ocean. You can see a huge tube as wide as a giraffe's neck. And it just seems to be endless. True, this cable connected Europe and North America and used to serve for telegraph communications. 12,303 feet underwater. Suddenly, in the darkness, you see the outline of a ship. No way! That's the Titanic itself! The intense water pressure would crush a person at this depth. So you can only dive down to the Titanic in a submarine. 13,123 feet. Whoa! Here would be the end of the deepest mine in the world, Imponen Gold Mine in Africa. But you still have deeper places to go. Let's speed up! 20,000 feet. Here you can see the deepest debris of an old ship. The USS Johnson sank more than 70 years ago. You can still clearly see the number 557 on its bow. 26,200 feet. Here, in this total darkness, you'll find the deepest fish in the world, the Mariana snailfish. They're as long as a domestic kitten and have almost transparent skin. Their eyes are poorly developed for vision because the sunlight never reaches this deep. 29,030 feet. If you take Mount Everest, flip it over, and stick it into the Marianas Trench, this is exactly where you'd see its tip. Even though this is the highest point on our planet, you'd still have a lot deeper to go. 35,755 feet down. Here, in the Challenger Deep, you'd still see life. You'd need a microscope for that, though. Bacteria living here feed on organic molecules, similar to oil. A little deeper? Congrats! You've touched the bottom! It's 36,070 feet deep. The pressure here is 1,071 times higher than on the surface. But you're not the first person to have been here. One of the last expeditions to the bottom of the Mariana Trench was in 2012. An American filmmaker descended here in a submarine he designed himself. But the pressure broke some of the engines, so it was hard for him to maneuver here. The sonar was also damaged, and some of the batteries drained. He was in the Challenger Deep for about 3 hours and took many pictures and videos. If you look closely at the bottom itself, you can see bubbles. It's carbon dioxide and liquid sulfur. It's freezing here because of the extreme pressure and temperature close to freezing. But there's still life here in these harsh conditions. The three microorganisms are most common here – xenophyophores, amphipods, and small sea cucumbers. There's so few of them because they don't have enough food down here. Usually, there's a lot of palm leaves on the ocean floor, which get there from the land. But the Mariana Trench is 124 miles from the nearest islands. So the only food here is old plankton and fish scales from the ocean's upper layers. But it needs to travel tens of thousands of feet to become food for the bottom dwellers. But can you go even lower into the crust of the Earth? Well then, you'll need to unleash your giant drill and fire up the jet engines. You're pushing another 36 miles through the Earth's crust. And here is its edge. You've entered the upper mantle. It's an ocean of hot lava, 1,800 miles deep. You have to literally swim through this, reaching the outer core, another 1,400 miles deep. Then you reach the inner core, another 755 miles, and congrats! You're at the very center of the Earth. Um, I hate to ask, but how do we get out of here?